Um, I run a nurture room in a local primary school. And I work for the Department of Transport as a motorcycle examiner. At the start, there was 10 of us got together and we thought we'd actually do something because there wasn't a blood bike service. And so I'm one of the original members that started up the blood bike service in Wales. And, and then sort of Tracy came along a bit later on into the fold, shall we say. Originally, I started off covering for a membership secretary um, who wanted to move on to the PR side of blood bikes. We have um, over 190 members, so it's quite a full-time job. But then this year I decided, well, thanks to Darren's encouragement, to um, have a go at doing uh, riding. I've always ridden a bike, but I did my advanced certificate, got through that, um, did my assessment with Darren and um, my other training that you have to do, and um, away I went. So I've been riding the blood bike since May, so which is fantastic. Um, so I am actually now the first female blood biker in um, Wales, the first lady. Well, over here, we in the east sort of section, because we've divided into sort of the health authorities, we get on schedule runs, so we know what runs we're doing. And then a certain time in the night, which is roughly about 10 o'clock, we then do ad hoc work, it's basically they phone us, but we're always at home usually at that time of night. The, the runs that I do tend to be scheduled runs on a Saturday and Sunday, um, where obviously I know what time I'm going out, and then we do any urgent calls or emergency calls in between those scheduled runs. Well, obviously, Blood Bike Wales is an absolute fantastic charity and we are, we are all volunteers. Um, everybody's valued, there's loads of jobs that can be done, you know, it, it doesn't matter how much time you can give, we value everything. So, obviously, if you want to be a rider, there is certain requirements. You need to have been riding for two years, you have to be over 25 and hold an advanced certificate, whether it be I am ROSPA or ERS, the Dragon Rider Scheme. Um, but no, everybody's welcome. So yeah, come on, let's do it. Give something back to the NHS. And we don't just want riders, we want everybody to be involved as a sort of a national thing, really. To yeah. get everybody behind it, behind the charity. To be honest, we do quite a lot of functions with Blood Bikes. Obviously, we do a lot of fundraising. We do lots of rallies where we go fundraising. Um, and it's amazing how many people come up to you in the street and, and just, you know, have a look at your badge and, the, and they're absolutely in awe of you. I mean, we do have quite a lot of old dears who come up and say, oh, I can't give blood anymore. And we're like, well, we don't actually take it, we deliver it. Um, but the most, the best thing for me is when they pick up the frozen breast milk. We have a guy who comes from Birmingham Women's Hospital who travels up um, to ross on Y, where one of our guys meets him at ross on Y and um, then takes that frozen breast milk to the neonatal unit at the Royal Gwent or up at Singleton in Swansea. And to me that is the best thing in the world to think that we're actually providing that service. The cost of that service was something like £121 per case of frozen breast milk and £120 for delivery. So now they're getting two for free because of our volunteers, because of our guys who give up their time in the week and then when they, they get a call they just go. This service is a valuable service, it, you know, we need people to do this service because at the end of the day, people all over the, over the country, I mean Wales is vast and it's very rural, people need this service. You know, I mean bikers get through quicker than, than cars, you know, we can get through traffic quicker. Um, and at the end of the day, it's just a valuable, valuable service and I feel very proud and very honoured yeah. to be part of Blood Bikes. You know, it's just, it's just lovely, it's just a wonderful thing. It's when you're standing in the collections and people come to you and make a donation and say, you saved my life, you saved my son's life, and they won't talk about it, they've just gone. And they just disappeared like. Mm. I'm Tracy. And I'm Darren. And, and we, we ride, ride for, for Blood, Blood Bike Wales. Wales. Think blood. Think bike. Did you wink? <laughs>